we are doing a uh, culturable work we when we want to in, enumerate or isolate the bacteria from the environment we do not know exactly how many bacteria will grow on your plates so in order to get a uh, good count in your work we have we usually carry out a uh, dilution of the samples before we carry out culturable work. So when you have a sample, for example, okay, so the the concentration of the sample is one unity, which means there's no dilution. It's it's hundred percent sample. Okay. So when you dilute your sample, let's just say you place one mil of the sample into 9 mil of diluent okay so what are suitable diluents of course it has to be sterile it can be sterile saline uh, sometimes we use sterile distilled water okay there are different of course some people use sterile uh, buffer phosphate buffer okay so when you add 1 mil sample into 9 mil diluent you are actually when you add one mil sample into nine mil diluent, so the final volume is actually ten. So you are actually uh, diluting your sample to one tenth of the original, or ten minus one. Okay, so this is one. This is one ten minus one of uh, one tenth of the sample. Okay. Then, but if you want to uh, mention how many times dilution it is, then it is ten times dilution. Okay. So that is the. Uh, different uh, terms that we use when we dilute the original sample in diluent we can use different kinds of diluent okay then the term is the after dilution it is one tenth of the sample or 10 minus 1 concentration or 10 times dilution, zero dilution. Because we do not dilute the sample only once, but instead we dilute it over a series. Okay? And usually of the same approach. So. So it's like, this is the original sample. So you're placing 1 mil of the sample in 9 mil diluent. Mix it well, okay, that is important. Mix it well before transferring another 1 mil, and so on and so forth. So when you do this, you will get immediately minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, and minus 5. So, concentration. So this is actually 1 over 1 over 100,000 of the original concentration. Okay, 1 over 100,000 of the original concentration. We do this before the culture work itself because there are only a certain amount of bacteria that can grow onto the plate before you consider them to be overgrowing and you can't really count them accurately so by carrying out a serial dilution like this you will be able to capture the uh, a 
a good concentrate, a good dilution where you can get countable, countable uh, results. Okay, so you're you are able to obtain results from your culture book. Okay. Once you understand the concept of serial dilute, of course, once you understand the concept of dilution, then there is really no uh, there is no really no restriction to how much you dilute it. To, to how you intend to dilute your sample because so long as you know your calculations and the concept you'll be able to calculate back to the original sample so for example if we put one mil to formula of diluent one mil sample to formula of diluent you can easily know this is one fifth of the original concentration and this is a five times dilution of the original uh, sample okay so there is no longer restriction you can dilute a according to uh, your expectation or your assumption to how many bacteria is in your sample how many bacteria you expect will that will, will grow on your plates then you can dilute them accordingly because you do not want to over dilute and neither do you want to under dilute but uh, for most of uh, for many microbiologists when you're starting work on a new sample on a new environment on a new habitat you usually do a larger set of dilution because you do not you cannot really estimate how many bacteria will grow Okay, you, you do you start off with a, a larger range of dilution only the when you repeat the work the second or the third time you are able to refine your concentration. Okay. okay. So we have been talking about how we can carry out dilution by putting in a sample in diluent. Okay? So this is the original sample. But sometimes you get, especially when you're working in the food industry, you get solid samples or okay, solid samples. For example, butter, peanut butter, uh, biscuits, ice cream, solid samples. So how do you carry out dilution? So the assumption here is one cm cube. 1 gram. So 1 gram of solid is equivalent to 1 mil. Basically the same rule holds. So 1, let's just say 1 gram of solid, you homogenize it in 9 mil of diluent. I use the term homogenize. So it also means blend. So this is something that you do often in the food industry. So 1 gram of solid and 9 ml of diluent will also give you the same concentration and the same concentration, 1 tenth of the original and 10 times dilution. Okay, So the approach is the same. The assumption is this. Of course, you know that this assumption does not necessarily, uh, it is not necessarily true. But then, uh, for convenience sake, this is the best way, uh, most simplistic way of calculating the CFU when processing solid samples.